Okay, hello everyone. So today we'll be doing a topic on disaster management, which is food security, which has been a common topic among us today. Okay, so what is food security all about? Okay, so food security is when all of us have regular access to enough nutritious food to lead a healthy and active life. So why is it important? Actually, I feel like this is quite common sense to everyone, okay? So lack of access to healthy food will affect our health. And in the world, there's actually more than 690 million people that are suffering from food insecurity. So with these statistics alone, it shows how important food security is in every country. Okay, so on our part, we can grow our own crops or only stockpile a rational amount of non-perishable food like canned food, protein bar, and biscuits. Okay, so now we'll be playing a series of kahoot to deepen your understanding and dive deeper into the topic. You'll see the game pin. Can? Yes. Okay, let's start for okay. me first. Okay, we'll start now. Okay, let's start. What is food security? Master's finger. Next. If food security is not well concerned, what can be the possible consequences? Oh wait, um, actually it should be, it causes lack of nutrient people. It should be just the orangey yellow option. Okay, take note ah. First, the credit is only important during COVID nineteen. Next. How much rice is stock pot per month in Singapore? It's fifty tons. We saw it in. A news report that we found online. Yes, that's based on a 2013 report. It is a multi select question. How can we do our pie ensuring food security? That's right. Hundred fifty million people in the world are suffering from food insecurity. That's right. Yes, okay, it's, it's six, over six hundred and ninety million. Okay, you are doing well. How can food security be managed? Yeah, with all of the above, all three are ways to be to manage food security.
how does Singapore Repos eat in food security in Singapore? It's true, especially. Okay, actually, yeah, family more. life aid that rations out food to the less privileged families and through meals with love program by providing food vouchers to the needy. So I think if you want to find out a little bit more, you can also find out through like the Red Cross website. Okay, so let's continue for now. Wow. I'm so Six. Good. I'll select. So what causes, causes food, food insecurity? Okay, I'm okay, good. Everyone's getting it correct. Last question. Those come orange from we of three stop about 20 plus cancels and 30 plus Maggie noodles. It is a rational act. Yes, okay, correct. it's not a rational act. Yeah, I mean you can't be eating instant noodles or like canned food lah for I don't know five months. Maybe. Okay, Bryce. Bob. Ria. Yay. Okay. Okay. I think you all scored pretty well. Okay. So, um, okay. So, I'll just do like a very quick debrief and I also want to learn. I also want to know how much you have learned today. So, maybe you can just share with us one thing you have learned about food insecurity. Food security today. Okay, starting with you, Bryce. I've learned that uh, food insecurity is faced by many people in the world, roughly 619 million of them. So this issue should be tackled seriously. Okay, that's great. Uh, what about Jovi? There are many different ways that the Singapore Red Cross helps families suffering from food insecurity. Okay, yeah, Red Cross do do their part. Um. What about Xingjie? Uh, there are many people that suffer from food insecurity so that so we should not waste food and like not like don't throw, don't throw away your food when, when you're not like <laughs> Yeah, so buy rationally so to like reduce food waste as well. Yeah, that's a very good point. What about Ria? I learned that food security is not just about having food to like fill our stomachs it's about having food to maintain a healthy lifestyle yeah that's true so like i mean we can't be only eating instant noodles for the rest of our life so it also ensures that there are sufficient nutritious food for us as well okay what about va that we can prevent food insecurity by growing our own crops yeah, I think a lot of people like to do their, you know, mini gardening or farming nowadays, which I think is a good way that many of us can start to help out in our way, okay? So I'm glad that everyone has learned something new today. And yeah, y'all can also find out more on yourself, uh, on your part. Okay, so yeah. So thank you, everyone.